Hi everyone, I'm Susan Hines and here is our fifth video in our beginner basic series. Okay, this is called center spine and we're going to do it in both directions. Okay, get ready. Here's your gold ball. Pick it up and have a seat. You want to be scooched, you want to scooch to the top of the back, the back of your mat, I guess. Yeah, top of the mat, back of the mat. And um, you're going to want to tuck your shirt in, okay? Because you don't want to have wardrobe malfunction and have your shirt end up around your waist, all right? So tuck your shirt in and come and into seated. Go ahead and lift the sit bones and lift the flesh off the sit bones and find your sit bones, have a seat. Knees are bent and you're going to sit up tall. Place that you're going to lean forward as much as you can, okay? And by the way, I recommend that you view the um, intro video that, that talks about breathing um, and that will help you with, um, with the breath here, all right? So getting, coming forward in, leaning forward, walking your hips side to side, lifting the flesh, getting really connected through your sit bones. Belly's firm as you bring yourself forward and you're going to really be working, we're going to start working into the sacral joint area. Okay, if you look at bones here, you take a look at bones here, um, here's your tailbone, and then it comes up into this, into the um, coccyx, which is the tailbone, and then comes up into this lumbar area between your two hip points here in the back. This is your sacral joint, it's your sacrum, and there is a lot of nerves that run through this little crease. So um, this area can get really compressed, and then of course we have issues with you know nerve pinch nerves and, and stuff like that. So getting this um, area open and um, is um, important for the flexibility of our hip and to relieve low back pressure, okay, and pain. So we're going to come forward here and um, lean forward and expose this little area. Go ahead and take your hands and just kind of massage and get familiar with your um, your bony landmarks that we just talked about. So finding your hip crest, right, you can run your hands across the top of your hip crest, and we worked with that in video four, okay? And then you can travel from your top of your hip crest down towards the center, right, in towards the center here where your tailbone, and locate your tailbone, run your hands up your tailbone, and then up through that up through that low um, into the lumbar, in between your hip crest, and then this is where your sacral joint is, right in, in between the two hip crests. You can feel maybe how that falls off, and then where the flat bone starts. Your sacral bone feels kind of flat back there, all right? So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna place the ball there at the flat bone, at the sacral, sacral bone. Come lean forward, snuggle the ball right as close as you can to your tailbone, and you're like lifting up, getting up under that tailbone as best you can, and lifting up on that sacral bone. And then as you lean back, you might feel a little bit of a lift. The sacral bone is actually wrapped with connective tissue, okay? So, and sacral tissue, like everything else in the body as we age can become stiff, and, um, it get, it, and whenever something doesn't have fresh blood, it starts to get um, you know, stiff and it starts to deteriorate. So where, what, if we don't use it, we're gonna lose it, right? So getting stimulation back here is important. So push the ball up and under, and then as you lean back, feel that lift possibly, potentially up and lean back. So now you have your hip, your hip crest bone leaning on, the ball, you have your sacral bone le leaning on the ball, and I'm just gonna get sideways now so you guys can see what's going on. You can hold the ball, lean back, and feel that lift. Hips are gonna scooch down a little bit, lean back, all right away your core is gonna start getting engaged here. Belly button to spine, pull your belly button in towards your spine, and then your spine to ball, ball to floor, okay? Front to back body connection, one of the principles here, learning how to pull in from the front body, Connect your front to back body, and then back body to ball, ball to floor. Just one, one unit together, varying weight. Hands can be here on your knees, and you start to pull in through the belly button. Belly button's firm, we're gonna take a breath and bring your breath up into the ribs. 
expansion here on your exhale. Just relax back, melt back into the ball, belly to ball. Start to soften your shoulders now. And gaze, Dristi's always through your legs here straight forward so you don't crank your neck. Obviously, if you're looking at me, that's okay to learn, but then try to get back into neutral. Take a breath in. Pull your belly button to spine, exhale out. Soften your shoulders. Keep your belly button firm. Inhale, expand, expand here, inhale. Upper ribs expand, exhale. Lean back, pull back through the belly button to, to spine, to ball, to floor. Good, lean back, lean back. So now we're trying to lean back a little bit more and just try to feel that back waist sort of wrapping around the ball. Yeah, you can have your hands right here for support. Kind of wrap and try to feel that back waist wrapping on the ball. So you should feel the inflatability right of the ball. Pressing in, massaging in. Now, keep connection, keep connection here, just your feet, and lift your hips off the floor. Let your body weight go into the ball. You wanna really get connected. Stay really sticky into that ball now, really feel connected, and then scooch down just a little bit, trying to pull and connect through. Let the fascia connect to the ball, and you're trying to lift the fascia up, set your hips back down again. Now get connected. Pulling in, right in front of wherever that ball is, is where you bear weight. So in front of the ball is where you're bearing weight. Pull your belly button in. Slightly round the spine a little bit as you push from front body, back body, ball to floor. Lift your hips up a little bit. Get connected, feel. Your core might be screaming right now. Say amen, right? We're working our core and getting strong. Breath in. Exhale, pull belly button to the spine. And exhale out. Good. Sit your hips back down again. Connect here. Take another breath. Belly in. Inhale. Fill here. Fill here. And exhale. Pull the belly button to spine. Lift your hips. Stay connected. Scooch down just a little bit. Try to grab the flesh there and feel as you lift and then set back down again. So this is beginner. It might be just getting oriented, that's fine. But if you can feel, think about lengthening. We're trying to make space between each one of those vertebrae and really get circulation in the fascia here. We're just going straight up the spine, basic spine reaching here. Inhale, belly firm, inhale. Expand, exhale, relax and melt. So when I first started learning this, it really helped me to put my hand right wherever the ball was, put your, put your hand right there on top, support your neck here, starting to get cranky like mine. Put your hand right in front of the ball and then expand your breath right there. Inhale, belly firm, inhale. And exhale. And that's when you bear weight, just relax. So by keeping your belly button firm, we're, in, we're, getting, we're pushing the air up into the lungs, getting higher and more capacity up top. Take one more breath here, hand right above the ball, inhale. Expand, exhale. Good, keep connection, lift your hips. Keep connection, scooch down just a little bit. See if you can feel the lift as you pull down and then set your hips back down again. Right now we should be at ribs. You should be right behind your solid ribs and you should feel a lot more supported. Notice the difference there. When you're on bone, more bone, you feel more stable, right? And when you're in fascia and muscle, you feel a little bit less supported, I guess I should say. Lift your hips around your spine. So scoop your, scoop your belly up now. Lift your hips up. Pull your head forward. Really pull your head forward. Bowls right behind your ribs. Pull your head forward. Exhale out all your air. And then inhale. Drop your hips and start to open the elbows wide. So maybe you feel the scap bones the, sh the shoulder blades scraping on the ball here. Start to press the elbows out, expand through your elbows, through your armpits. Gaze up, let your head be heavy in your hands. Elbows are wide, take a big breath, fill, belly in, fill the upper chest, inhale. 
expand, and then as you exhale, you're gonna round coil, pull your head forward. We're doing cat-cow right here on the ball. Scoop your belly out, lift your hips a little bit, and pull your head forward. Elbow points forward over the knees. Exhale, hold the shape, pull the belly in. Exhale, now inhale, open the elbows. Open, 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 and keep expanding into your pec muscles under the armpits. Stretch out from your armpits, from your, your front um, clavicles. It's expansion, expansion, expansion. Eyes straight up. Just feel here. Support your head. Don't tense up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Open, open, open. Stretch through those pecs. Take a breath in here. Expand. Enjoy this opening. Inhale. Inhale. Expand up into the ribs, into the lungs. Up high, up high, up high. Expand. And then exhale. Round coil. Pull your head forward. Tuck your tailbone up to the sky. Lift your tailbone up and pull your head forward. Scoop out your belly. Firm. You can even lift your hips up a little bit. One more time. Drop your head. hips. Inhale. Open the arms. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Keep filling all the way up to the clavicles. Keep sipping air through the nose. Keep inhaling. Stretch wide, stretch wide, stretch wide. Press your chest up and exhale, round coil, round coil. Pull your head forward, dump all the air out, pull your belly in here at the end. And come back to neutral. Good, you can do that. That's a great exercise to do. You can do as many rounds as you want and, you, and you're working with breath. We'll be, a, we're gonna work a little bit more with breath in breathing videos. So you'll get a little bit more of that and you'll get good at it. Lift your hips, scooch down. Now we're right at the, um, we're right in those upper, upper shoulders, right? So you're above the shoulder blades, you're kind of in, um, and we call this the spot, man. This is the spot at T, it's like mid thoracic, mid thoracic, upper thoracic. This is where we get really jammed up, many of us, right between our shoulder blades, slightly higher. Right? And we're gonna work here. Pull the head forward a little bit and make a little rounded C curve up top. Lift your hips and now we're gonna work the spine in sort of channeling, okay? So you're gonna pull your body up and back and this is, a, this is glorious. So you're gonna just push your body up to the head and down to the feet. Your hips are off the floor and you're just moving, using that spine as a guide and you're rolling right on that bone, right on the spine bone chin is going to angle to the chest keep your chin or keep your gaze going down through center line and just kind of roll through your spine there from that's that bump right between shoulder blades and then down through your spine through the shoulder blades and you're just moving through like t three four five right where we get jammed up and then I want you to pause right between your shoulder blades again. Lift your hips up and then drop your head back and do supported bridge pose. Lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, press down through your heels, and then your little arms are just flopping down. Eyes are straight up. Breathe here, inhale. Expand, exhale. Everything should relax now. If this is not working for you, right, you can just sit your hips back down again and leave your head on the ball. Let your arms flop open. Otherwise, lift your hips, bridge pose. Use gravity here. Take a breath in and breath out. Like just drop in, feel, 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 feel. Open and close your jaw. Open your mouth and close your mouth. Open your mouth and close your mouth. One more time. Open your mouth nice and big. Stick your tongue out and then close your mouth. Good. Pull your head forward and pull your head forward, pull your head forward and scooch down. And now the ball's right at the top, right on that bump, and your neck is going to just lay right on the ball. Right on the ball. Adjust, adjust yourself. The back, the ball is right between the back of your skull and the top of your shoulders at that bump. That little bump that sticks out. It's like the junction point where your cervical comes in, cervical spine comes into your thoracic spine. And just go ahead and find that spot. Press from the front of the neck to the back of the neck to the ball to the floor. 
And this really is amazing for that area to release the tension. You start to lift the skull up. You can lift your skull up and lay it back down again. And just press from the front of the shoulder to the back, or front of the neck, back of the neck, all four. So you can take a bridge pose here if this works for you. Arms down. Get yourself situated. Lift your hips up. You don't have to go super high. This is a lot. Stretch here. Now just try to keep your, your chin floating off your chest a little bit. Take a breath in and a breath out. Now you can start to angle your chin down and get a little bit more of a stretch. Notice if you scooch down a little bit and angle your chin down towards your chest, you can lift your hips up maybe a little higher. And pushing back into the ball, so energy moving back towards the ball, pushing back, you can get a little bit more of a stretch here. Shoulder, you can lift one shoulder than the other. Squeeze your glutes. And then you can start to lay your spine down one vertebrae at a time as you drop your hips back down again. Good, so this is just all experiential, right? Remember, we're always just working um, in, our, in our zone where we feel like we are receiving benefit and we're not getting too over the edge, right? Just listen to your body always. This is a, this is a journey into your body and we're learning. All right, so now we're gonna go, we're just gonna go right back to where we came from, okay? So this is, this will get, unwind everything we missed. All right, so we're gonna scooch back towards the ball, just push into the heels and push back into the ball, okay? Move your ponytail if you've got one. Situate your shirt if you, if you need a retuck, go ahead. And then push, lift your hips and then just push down through your heels. Push back into the ball, push into the ball and you're gonna push yourself back towards the ball and bring the ball right between your shoulder blades. So we're going right back to how we came, reversing the whole thing. Now the ball is between your shoulder blades, hands above your head, slide up the back of the neck, lift the skull up, scooch in. Now just hang here for a second, take a breath. Hips are up or down, up to you. Take a breath in and just relax. I'm gonna lift my hips up. I like to enjoy it. Elbows together, round your spine, chin, chest, look at your belly button, round your shoulders, take a breath in, breathe into that back body, exhale out, just relax. This is that spot that I was talking about, really unwind it. If we can get flexibility and mobility in this part of the spine, then we can help out with our neck. Now scooch up, push yourself up, push back into the ball, and push yourself up a little bit more towards your head. Ball's gonna be rolling down your spine. The ball's heading back down to the sacrum, right? Back down to the hips. Pause right there, right at T5, right in there. Maybe even, yeah, T5, six, seven, right in there. Right between shoulder blades, take a breath in. You're filling that area right where the ball is. Exhale out. Think about your spine, think about the mobility that you're gaining in your thoracic spine, that big rib cage area that gets so stuck. Let's just breathe here, elbows together, round your spine, lift your hips a little bit. C curve the spine, cat pose. Exhale. Relax, front to back body connection, totally relax, let go. Let yourself sink and expand into the ball. Take another breath in, exhale out. Keep rooted through the feet. Keep your hips up if you can. Set them down if you need to. All right, we're gonna move again. Stay heavy, front to back body. Body, ball to floor. Scooch yourself up. Push into your heels and just scooch yourself up towards your head and bring the ball down. The ball's gonna be right down in those lower ribs now. We're in like the last three ribs, not quite into that um, lower Thoracic yet, take a breath in, inhale, exhale. Sometimes I like to hold my ribs from the side here. We're almost there, take a breath in, breath out. If, again, if you're getting too tired, just set your hips down, okay? I'm gonna scooch down a little bit. You all stay there, I'm scooching because I don't wanna leave the frame, I want y'all to see. Take a breath in and a breath out, continue to be heavy here, be heavy weight there. Don't effort, just be heavy. 
Good. Okay, ready? You're going to scooch. Pull your head forward. S -s -s walk your feet. Scooch up. And now you're mid low back like that, kind of right, right above your hip crest. You're not to your hip yet. You're in between your rib cage and that and, the, um, and your hips. And you're going to probably need to put your hips down now. Pick up here, adjust the ball, snuggle it right back into that back waist. You're in the back waist, below muscle, below your rib cage, above your hips, right into that, that back waist. Scooch, scooch, scooch. How does it feel different from when we first started? Lean back, lean back. Trying to wrap, wrap, wrap. Hopefully you have lift, lifting up and getting separation, right? Making more space in the waist. That's the name of the game. Being able to breathe, access breath more. Getting your, making space in your organs of your torso. Okay, leaning back here. Hold onto your knees, take a breath in. Sit tall, expand, exhale, melt back, and expand. Just think about making space in that torso. Pushing back through your, pulling back through your belly button to the ball, to the floor. Good, you lean back a little bit, back bend, kind of back weight, keeping your back, keeping your waist, lift your chest up, palms are flat, lift your chest up like you're coming into fish pose. So you're lifting up off the ball for a minute, head can go back for a sec. Take a breath in, fill the space, fill the space. And then chin to chest, push the front belly into the back belly to ball to floor and come into your cat pose here. Kind of rounding now, right? And then go back to neutral. So we just did a back bend, we did a forward bend, and now we're neutral. All right? All right, so now this is our final move, you guys. Final move here. You're right there at your, right there behind your belly button with the ball. You're gonna put your hands down and you're gonna roll right up through your low, your sacrum, and up onto your pelvic floor. So go up and just push yourself up. Pause at your sacrum for a second. Go side to side, feel that. You're separating, moving across that low back. We're gonna get, our next routine is gonna, we're gonna be going on the front body and you're gonna get into that sacrum and it's gonna be so nice, you guys. So just go crossways. Now we're going side to side, across your sacral bone, out to the back of the hip bone on that one side and then to the back of the hip bone on the other side. You're just coming across, keep going. We're coming across here, just making space. So just pause right there in the center of your sacrum bone and roll right up over your tailbone. Okay, so push back and just roll right up onto your tailbone. Sit tall. Just roll over your tailbone a couple of times. This is really good to do with the gold ball. It's great to bring bone stimulation into all of our bones, especially in the tailbone and circulation. And just stay up top for a second. Finish off a little forward fold, just separate the legs a little bit and just forward fold. Just to finish off, should feel good. Your legs back together, scooch down slow in front of your ball, and that should really get you into it now. And scooch down, just drop down the front of it a couple of times, trying to catch that connective tissue, massaging up up alongside and getting into that sacral joint so good and then you take the ball out and go ahead and just I invite you to lay down and just enjoy all of that work feel close your eyes take a couple of breaths and see if you can feel some new movement and some new and new possibilities see how your breath feels as you inhale up into those upper lungs, up into the upper ribs. Lay your hands down, palms up to face. Let's take a couple of breaths together to finish. So go ahead, all together now, let's exhale all the air out of the nose. Just an exhale, exhale, and pull your belly button into your spine. Hold that belly button to spine. Now inhale and see if you can bring um, a breath up into the upper. So put your hands up high, up alongside your ribs. Take a breath, leave your belly in, exhale all your air out. Let's go for it again. Exhaling all your air out, pull your belly in. Now from here, inhale, you're totally empty. Inhale from in through the nose, belly stays firm, inhale. Upper lungs expand 
and exhale. Just feel. Do it again. Belly pulls in. Empty all your air out. Totally empty. Inhale. Expand. Exhale. Relax. Pull your belly in. Totally empty all your air out. Belly in. One more time. Inhale. Pull it in. Fully expansion. And exhale. Relax. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit more opening through the torso. Lift your shoulders up, relax. Crack your toes, roll out your ankles, wiggle your fingers around, shake out your legs. Let all of that just, just integrate in, feel. Stay as long as you like. When you're ready to move, if the, or if the day is calling you, just pull your knees into your chest. Rock your legs side to side. Take a little bit of a twist on each side. And take the legs to the other side. Take a twist. Spine loves, loves it some twists. And then rock and roll yourself up to seated. Again, stay as long as you, as long as time allows for you today. Enjoy your beautiful day. I will see you in the next video. Namaste.